Good morning students myself major komal kattyal department of zoology jk gowani government college binwa today we will be giving our lecture on another protocordate subphylum that is subphylum cephalocordata cephalocordata the word has three different word one the cephalic responsible for the cephalic region second one is the coda that means string or rod and eta which means bearing so all together these three words constitute the one term that is cephalocordata which means the rod like structure is present up to the cephalic region which is a characteristic feature of cephalocordates beginning with the habit and habitat of the cephalocordate they are marine it means they are present only in the sea water and especially widely distributed in the shallow waters samudri chichle jal ke andar paaye jane wale protocordate jantu hain they are mostly sedentary and found buried with only their anterior end protruding above the bottom sand as you can see it is also visible in the diagram present in the slide where only the anterior region with tentacles is protruding out of the sea bottom pad the body is small 5 to 8 cm long it is cylinder fish like and generally laterally compressed transparent with both the end the anterior end and the posterior end are pointed and hence the name is given as lancelate matlab bhale ke saman dono jo sire hain wo nukile hote hain isiliye samanya naam inko diya gaya hai the muscles are dorsolaterally located and segmented in the form of myotomes as far as their general characters are considered there is unique feature which is present among the cephalocordates they are the only chordate which shows all the five distinctive chordate characters throughout their life and these five distinctive characters are first one is presence of notochord or chorda dorsalis which is persistent second one is presence of a single dorsal hollow tubular nerve cord tantrika rajju third one the pharyngeal gill slits grasni plom darare ya chhidra fourth one presence of a ventral endostyle which is homologous to thyroid gland of higher chordates and the fifth one presence of a post anal tail ek pashkudi pooch ki upasthiti ye sabhi paancho lakshan keval सेफेलोकॉर्डेट जंतुओं के अंदर जीवन पर्यंत पाए जाते हैं नाउ कंटिन्यूएशन विद द जनरल कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ सिफेलोकॉर्डेट फर्स्ट द नोटोकॉर्ड विच इज रॉड लाइक परसिस्टेंट एंड एक्सटेंड फ्रॉम रॉस्ट्रम टू टेल एंड हैंस द नेम इज गिवन टू द सब फाइलम सिफेलोकॉर्डेटा द नव कॉर्ड इज डॉर्सल it is hollow tubular and it is without ganglia and brain so brain and ganglia are totally absent in the case of cephalocordate it is unlike non cordate in which the nerve cord is located on the ventral side which is generally paired and solid in the case of cordate it is always located on the dorsal side and it is a tube like structure the pharynx is large and it is perforated by numerous persistent gill slits the coelom is anterocelous pragua anthroic and it is reduced due to presence of atrial cavity in the pharyngeal region you can also see these structure in the diagram below where the pharynx with the gill slits is shown the muscle bands are there the dorsal and ventral fin is also present the caudal fin is present in cephalocordates the paired fins are totally absent unpaired fins are there 
as far as their digestive system is concerned the alimentary canal or the digestive tract is complete it means mouth and anus both opening are present there are cilia on the lateral surfaces of the gills which sweep water into mouth you can also see in the diagram indicated with the red color that the food particles along with the water current enters and they are filter feeders because the buccal cilia act like a sieve and responsible for sorting the food material that enters along with the water current the edible particles move inside the digestive tract due to movement of cilia and the undigested food material is then removed in the form of feces from the anus while the water current which moves goes to the atrial cavity and removes outside through the atriopore both these are indicated with the red color as far as their respiration circulation and excretion is concerned in the case of cephalocordate no specialized respiratory organ the respiration takes place only through general body surface circulatory system is simple and closed type but surprisingly it is without heart and respiratory pigments the flow of circulation is maintained by the contractile wall which is present in major blood vessels so the contractile waves in the walls of major blood vessel actually propel the blood and maintains the blood circulation the blood is a colorless fluid there is no wbc or rbc but some amoeboid cells are present and this blood apart from the blood vessel is also present in some lymph spaces like metapleural folds dorsal and ventral fins as far as excretion is concerned it is done by protonephridia and this protonephridia has large number of solenocytes which are also known as flame cells and more or less similar with the flame cells of the platyhelminthes apart from it in the case of cephalocordate a hashtag nephridium is present then two sac like brown funnels are also present and renal papillae is also there which also act as the excretory organ as far as their reproduction is concerned the sexes are separate it means they are dioecious animal the number of gonads are many so gonads are numerous they are metamerically repeated but without gonoducts janad bina janad vahini ke so the as the gonoducts are absent the gametes are released or shed directly into the atrial cavity and from the atrial cavity the gametes leave the body through the atriopore the fertilization always takes place in the sea water it means it is always external and cross after embryogenesis the fertilized zygote develops into a bilaterally symmetrical free swimming larva which is mainly responsible for dispersal of the species the larva finds a suitable place and then settle to a substrate after settle settling this larva metamorphose into the adults and as we know the adult remains buried in the sand at the sea bottom this finishes our lecture as part has as far as general characters are concerned as far as classification is concerned some author says there is no need to further classify the cephalocordate while some authors classify them into one class that is known as leptocardi which consists of only one order amphioxiformes and 
According to some other, there is only one family, the Branchiostomidae, and according to some other, there are two families, the Branchiostomidae and Asymmetronidae. It consists of two genera, one the Branchiostoma, also known as the Amphioxus, and the second one is the Asymmetron, or also known as Epigonoichthyes. The basic difference between these two, in the case of Asymmetron, the unpaired gonads are present on the right side of the body, while in case of branchiostoma, the gonads are always paired. This completes our lecture on cephalocordata. Thank you.